Ahoy, folks! This is Craig signing in for Pure Xbox to deliver you our review of Teardown for Xbox Series X and S. This review was written by Destruction King PJ O'Reilly for PureXbox.com and turned into video by me. So, that's enough babbling. Let's take a swing at Teardown. Blasting into Tuxedo Labs' teardown for the first time, we felt as though we had a pretty good idea of how the experience was gonna go. This is a game all about destroying stuff. It's about destroying stuff that's made in a stunning voxel art style, so that destroying that stuff looks incredible. We're fairly sure that we would have a few hours of fun with it and then get bored of the party trick and move on. However, as it turns out, Teardown has managed to impress us with its ability to hook us in for long sessions and keep us coming back for more. Quite aside for the graphical prowess on display, and this really is a jaw dropper, and aside from how indefinitely addictive it is to just smash up a bunch of very nice looking and highly reactive stuff on a very primal level, it's actually how the devs have given you a reason to stick at it that's been the most welcome surprise. Giving you a sense of direction in destruction by having you play as an owner of a struggling demolitions company, the surprisingly meaty campaign sees you take on jobs from various shady characters as you work to save your business. These jobs include collecting items, destroying buildings, stealing, and doing anything else that's asked of you, and many of them on a timer, giving you a limited window to complete your mission after you've set off a security alarm. Yes, we know that timers generally suck, but it works well here in injecting tension into the mix, so don't be put off by the idea of it. As you begin a mission, you can look at overviews of the area you're going to drop into and plan your movements, decide what route you're going to take, and aim to be as efficient or creative as you like. Then you get the payoff. Dropping into a world and marveling at the effort that's been put into having every material react differently, to have everything respond so spectacularly to being smashed or exploded, making every jaunt across one of the game's incredible looking maps a joyful mishmash of planning, targeted assaults, and sweating it as the timer ticks down. As the game progresses, you'll gain access to a wider array of demolition tools. Starting off with just a hammer and a spray can, you'll soon rise to the ranks toward gear like shotguns, bombs, and even a rocket launcher. Later levels have more complex tasks, bigger objectives, and more moving parts to figure out, and in bringing a light puzzle aspect to proceedings, the game continues to compel well past the point we would have gotten bored of just blowing stuff up. Teardown is a game that's had an extended run of early access on PC over the past few years, and you can see the polish and refinement this lengthy gestation period brings in just how well everything works, how slickly it all controls and moves, how well it performs and looks in both available graphical modes, and in just how well judged and layered the main missions are in order to keep you coming back for more. It's a delightful, assured, and confident experience. One of the best looking games we've played this year, and an indie game that rises above its rather simple premise to become something we'll return to over time. In this regard, it's a shame that Teardown has no form of multiplayer as of yet. With some form of cooperative or online play here, we'd be looking at a game with real staying power. However, there's no sign that this will ever become a reality. So for now, it's the main missions, a free play sandbox mode, and mods to keep you busy. Mods on console versions of the game come as curated packs. There's already some cool ones available to play and this could keep us coming back for more, as long as it's kept in a nice rotation. The devs have also stated that expansions are incoming, so it seems as though there's plenty to stick around for. With a well-judged price point, Teardown is an easy game to recommend to anyone looking for a little physics-based destructive fun. It's a very simple premise, one that could have been short-lived if it hadn't been handled with care. But Tuxedo Labs have been very clever with how it's built an entertaining campaign with light puzzle elements to keep you hooked in. 
If you're old enough to have been wowed by Red Faction's freeform destruction back in the early noughties, prepare to have your mind completely blown by how far things have come. Teardown is a surprisingly addictive and compelling experience that takes the very simple concept of breaking stuff into bits and runs with it, serving up some of the best looking destruction we've ever clapped our eyes on. Yes, the lack of multiplayer modes is a bit of a sore point, but a well-designed and surprisingly meaty main campaign alongside curated mod packs means there's still plenty to dive into for solo players. If you like wrecking stuff, it's hard to knock what's on offer here, especially at the smart budget price point. Drake here just adding a little footnote to PJ's wonderfully constructed review. I feel like it's also worth mentioning that the current build of Teardown features some heavy head bobbing with no way of turning it off. So if you're like me and are susceptible to a little bit of motion sickness in games, then consider yourself suitably warned. Well then, here we are. Look at us making it to this point in the video. We've come so far. But be sure to check out purexbox.com for more reviews like this one. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then maybe consider subbing now. All that's left to say is bye-bye for now. Coco Pop Pops! <laughs>